Outdoors Blending is all about achieving an end result, an end goal. And so everything you do is focused on that. It means you take the, the raw ingredients and you are hoping in some way to be able to come out with something that resembles whatever it is that you're going to create at the end of it. Okay, so side is pretty basic. It's apples. All right, anyone who tells you otherwise, they're not making the sort of cider I make. Okay, so it's all about the apples. And those apples bring a myriad of different qualities to a blend, but you can deal with that at a later phase. Uh, so you, we look at blending in as a two-stage process. First stage is at harvest, and the second stage is when it's coming around to packaging, bottling, let's say bottling to make it easier in the discussion. And then you need to work with both those areas in mind when you're, when you're making a cider. So at pressing, at harvest time, you're looking to get what we call a, a, an apple or a juice blend that gives you good acidity, good tannin, and good sugar levels so that when they ferment out, you've got a cider that has good keeping qualities.